In this video, we will work through a series of word problems relating position, velocity, and acceleration. Many videos ago, we learned about the graphical relationship between f, f prime, and f double prime. Now I need you to make the connection that a position function can be thought of as the original function like f. Velocity is the derivative of position like f prime. Acceleration is the derivative of velocity or you could think of it as the second derivative of position like f double prime. So all of these relationships between positive negative increasing decreasing concave up and concave down now apply to position velocity and acceleration. A squirrel runs along a telephone wire from the post office to the fire station. Its distance from the post office in feet at time t in seconds for the interval from 0 to 10 seconds is given by this equation. So this is a position equation. We're only required to do the odd problems, but I'm going to go ahead and do number 14 as well because it will help us do number 15. So find an expression for v at t, the squirrel's velocity at time t. We know that velocity is the derivative of the position function. So using the power rule, that's going to be 3t squared minus 30t plus 63. What would be the units for this velocity? Since velocity is the derivative of position, we can think of it as the change in position divided by the change in time. Since position is being measured in feet, that means uh, we've got feet in the numerator, and then time is measured in seconds, so the units would be feet per second. For number 15, they want us to find an expression for a of t, the squirrel's acceleration at time t. So we know that acceleration is the derivative of velocity, which is also the second derivative of position. But focus on this. We're doing the derivative of the velocity function. So by the power rule, this is going to be 6t minus 30. Now let's think about the units of acceleration. Acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. We just established that the velocity units are feet per second. So feet per second will be in the numerator. And then the change in time, that's seconds again. So if we divide feet per second by seconds, that's going to give us feet per second squared which can also be described, at, described as feet per second per second. At t equals 5 seconds, is the squirrel moving away from the post office or back towards the post office? According to the problem, the squirrel is running from the post office to the fire station. So you should picture that the squirrel is starting at the post office and then moving towards the fire station. So moving away from the post office should be thought of as a positive velocity. It's a positive velocity because he's making progress on his little journey. But if the squirrel is moving towards the post office, then he's going backwards. So this should be thought of as a negative velocity. Here's the velocity equation that we found back in problem number 14. So let's use it to find the velocity at time t equals 5. So that's going to be 3 times 5 squared minus 30 times 5 plus 63. This turns out to be negative 12 feet per second. So we know the squirrel is moving back towards the post office because the velocity is negative. Let's go ahead and write up our official answer with justification. Here's how we would write our answer if this were the AP exam. The squirrel is moving back towards the post office at t equals 5 because v at 5 is negative. Number 19, find the squirrel's average velocity from t equals 0 to t equals 10 seconds. 
Well, we know that velocity is the change in position divided by the change in time. But when they say average velocity, this is going to end up being an old school slope because instead of doing ds dt, this is an old school change in position divided by change in time. Meaning, we're going to do um, s minus s over t minus t, kind of like y minus y over x minus x. So the change in position will be s at 10 minus s at 0. And the change in time will simply be 10 minus 0. We can use the position formula that they gave us to calculate the position at time t equals 10. So that turns out to be 130 feet. Of course, s at 0 will just be 0 because there is a t in every term. So if we substitute in 0 for all of these t's, there will be nothing left. So putting in 130 and 0, we have 130 minus 0 over 10 minus 0, which is going to be just 130 divided by 10, which is 13. Let's not forget the units. We're talking velocity, so this will be feet per second. So here's an important takeaway from this problem. If they say average velocity or average acceleration, that means do an old school slope, like y minus y over x minus x. Number 21, part A. At t equals 6 seconds, find the squirrel's distance from the post office. So we can just use the distance formula that they gave us to find s at 6. This turns out to be 54 feet. For part b, we need to find the velocity at t equals 6 seconds. So we can use the velocity formula we found in problem number 14 to find the velocity at 6 seconds. This turns out to be negative 9, negative 9 feet per second. Part c, find the acceleration at time t equals 6 seconds. Here's the acceleration formula that we found back on problem number 15, and we can use it to find the acceleration at 6. So that is 6 feet per second squared. Part D, at t equals 6, is the squirrel's velocity increasing, decreasing, or neither? Velocity will be increasing when the acceleration is positive. Velocity is decreasing when the acceleration is negative. Because the acceleration is positive at time t equals 6, we know the velocity must be increasing. So here's our official AP exam style answer, including the necessary justification. The squirrel's velocity is increasing at t equals 6 because the acceleration is positive. At t equals 6, is the squirrel's speed increasing, decreasing, or neither? So here is a crucial relationship that you need to understand about speed. Are you ready? I really want you to soak this in. Speed is increasing if velocity and acceleration have the same sign. And speed is decreasing if velocity and acceleration have opposite signs. So looking back at our answers to part B and part C, the velocity at time 6 is negative, while the acceleration at time 6 is positive. So the velocity and acceleration have opposite signs. That means that the speed is decreasing. So here is one way that you could word your answer. The squirrel's speed is decreasing because the velocity at 6 and the acceleration at 6 have opposite signs. 
Or you could have said because v at 6 is negative and a at 6 is positive. One more question, number 23. At t equals 2, is the squirrel's speed increasing, decreasing, or neither? So it seems like we need to calculate the velocity at t equals 2 and the acceleration at t equals 2. If they have the same sign, we'll know the speed is increasing. If they have opposite signs, the speed is decreasing. We are using the velocity formula that we found back on problem number 14. So v at 2 turns out to be 15. 15 feet per second. Using the acceleration formula that we found back on problem number 15, we can calculate the acceleration at 2, which turns out to be negative 18 feet per second squared. Notice that the signs are positive and negative. They're opposite in sign, therefore the speed is decreasing. So we could say the speed is decreasing because the velocity at 2 is positive and the acceleration at 2 is negative. Or you could have said the velocity at 2 and the acceleration at 2 have opposite signs.